what's going on everybody welcome back to another video i got another good one for y'all today all right so i had somebody hit me up and said hey i got a dono i got a song i want you to do for me so here we are jesse howard aka new breed little boy and the preacher man i want to take a moment right quick and say happy thanksgiving to everybody i know it's a few days late i really hope that all of you we're able to take some time and go spend it with family or friends, hopefully a little bit of both, but I want to extend a special thank you to all my veterans, especially the ones that are still active duty right now. And those of you that are in the guard that are activated and whatnot, that are unable to uh, go spend some time with family. Hopefully you're able to spend some time off duty, go hang out with your extended family and friends and stuff. So Without wasting any more time, Jesse Howard, Little Boy and the Preacher Man. Let's get in it. One Sunday morning after church, the preacher was shaking hands. Sounds good. A little boy walked up and said, can I please talk to your preacher man? He said, my daddy left my mama and me, and it's been a couple years. Me and my mama's boyfriend don't like me much, especially after a couple of beers. Oh, no. Sometimes when he hits me, Hell I no. Yo, that's one thing I can't, I just, I can't handle it. I've been through it. I've been there. I've, mm -mm. Whew. all right. So I relate to this a little bit, a little bit too much, but when I was little, my biological father, if y'all have seen some of my videos, I've covered some of this a little bit, but my biological, biological father gave me up, right? My sister's biological dad, he's the one that adopted me. He took me in, so on and so forth. Wasn't the greatest dad in the world, but he did take me in. So as his own at the time. But anyhow, later on, my mom married another guy and that guy was beating on me. And because of that, I kind of turned... To, I, I ended up going to the point where I kind of lose my mind when I see it happening. So, yeah. Close my eyes real tight And I wish that place you always talk about Was real with all my mind Is heaven real? Cause I can't wait to go These are just, this is just stuff that kids should not have to worry about, man. It's a tough world out there, especially nowadays with everything that's going on. Man. It's tough. It's just, it's hard for me to think because, I mean, I got three kids of my own. You know what I'm saying? And just the the thought of them having to go through some of this stuff. Like that's I make I make every effort that I can to ensure that I have a healthy, happy relationship with my wife. <laughs> so that I don't have to worry about some other man taking care of my kids. And I mean Sheesh. Mm. Well, the preacher man didn't know what to say, and before the little boy turned and walked away, 
The preacher says, son, would you like to pray? Yes, sir. Right there, the little boy hit his knees, and he cried out, Lord, help me, please, because I don't know how much more pain I can take. And he looked up with him tears in his eyes. He said, preacher, man, I don't want to die. But I just want to know if there's a better place. Man. And that's the truth, man. Because I, I still remember. I still remember, you know, getting the one that sticks out to me the most. It's like two. There's two situations that stick out the absolute most from back then. Because I, I was like, I was literally was probably around like, the age of this kid in this video. But nonetheless, the one time, minding my business, in the kitchen, I'm washing dishes, and then out of nowhere, I get smacked in the face. And I'm like, I didn't even know what hit me at first, but I quickly found out because he started walking off that way. And I reach up, my, my nose is bleeding. I'm like, what'd I do? I still don't know. <laughs> and that's been more than 20 years ago. It's been more than 30 years ago. Uh, probably about 30 years ago. I don't know. Anyway, but, and then the other time, the other thing that sticks out the most is it was when I was a child in this time frame was the first time I ever actually wished actual harm on another human being. And I meant it. And he heard me. I got beat up about it. But I still felt that way. Is heaven real? I can't wait to go. You see that dude with his with his hand up in the uh 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 I'm telling you dude it's one thing I'm a I'm gonna be up for it's one thing to discipline your children. You know what I'm saying? Discipline your children. It's necessary. But don't ever ever discipline your children out of anger. If you're upset about something, I'm telling you, take some time. Talk to your kids. Let them know that you're upset. But I'm telling you, because I, be, I believe in spanking kids. Because I mean, if, if the crime, if the punishment fits the crime, absolutely. Period. But I, I don't believe in just randomly hitting your kids just because whatever. Like. Mm -mm. If the punishment fits the crime, absolutely. By all means. If it's severe enough, hey, wear their ass out. Because I'm telling you, that's some kids, that's the only way they learn. That's the only way I learned when I was a kid. Mama had to tear me up, man. Happened many, many times. The preacher man got a call Little boys in a hospital Doing bad and a mama's boyfriend's Running from along When the preacher walked in the boy's hospital room I'm telling you right now whew, if, 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 if something happened Me and my wife went our separate ways And she, she gets with another guy And I find out I'm telling you right now that man better learn how to disappear permanently because I will, I'm telling you, I will be on a permanent search for that dude for the rest of his life. I'm, 
I'm just saying, there's no way I could let that slide. Little boy whisper, can you see him too? There's an angel standing right beside you, preacher man. Now I know heaven's real. And I can't wait to get there. I love the way it sounds. I can't wait to know how heaven feels. I'm going to a This kid started out trying to find help. You know what I'm saying? Like reaching out. He started out reaching out, trying to find that help. And now he's, it, to me, it's like he's accepted his ultimate fate because he like, yeah, the preacher came and prayed with him and everything else, but nobody really did anything to get the kid out of the situation. And Man, that's sad. I got lucky because my mom, she eventually, she eventually saw what was going on between the guy she was with and me. And she got rid of him. Long story short. But some kids ain't that lucky. Like what's in this right here is like some, some kids, they just ain't that lucky, man. And it's sad. And they, the kids shouldn't have to ever deal with that. I can't wait to a real place. Now I know heaven's a real place. Heaven's a real place. Mm. What we got? What is that? That's almost, what, 800,000? 800,000 kids a year. I'm 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 going to assume it doesn't say a year, but it, I'm going to assume those statistics are are year on year. So that's one, I mean one's too many. But jeez, 800 some odd thousand? Come on, man. Somebody's got to put a stop to it. Man. Is that the end of it? Four, five point oh four kids die each day. You might as well have just said five kids died each day. Die each day of abuse and neglect within the United States. That's just in the United States. Now I know some other countries they feel a different way about what abuse actually is, but and neglect. But who? That's a that's a tall number though. Five kids a day. And the thing about it is what people, some people don't realize that's not just five kids a day. That's just, that's an average. Cause I mean, they're putting it 5.04. So that means you could possibly have way more than five one day and possibly none the next day. Or you could possibly go a few days with none and then end up with like 20 in one day. But no matter what way, one kid, like I said before, is too many. And if you're, if, if anybody's seeing this, if you're, if you're in a situation, I know it's not easy. Trust me. I know it's not easy, but you've got to dig down deep and seek some help. I've heard of people calling the police and ordering a pizza. I've heard of that before. You order a P call the police, order a pizza. They'll send a patrol car out to whatever address that your phone pops up at. If my memory serves me correct, I believe even cell phones will pop up like a, uh, a pin drop to the dispatcher to give a, an approximate location of where you're at. But, and if I'm wrong about that, by all means, correct me. But that's, that's what I understood, especially in your bigger, bigger areas, not necessarily like your rural areas, but your, you know, county sheriff, small, you know, we only got three cops in our district type things. 
I'm talking about predominantly these are areas like at least, you know, 10, 20,000 plus people in the cities and stuff. But anyway, go seek help. Go seek help from wherever you can. Find somebody that you know is actually going to help. Period. Or somebody that you know will actually go and find somebody that will help. Because there's there's no sense in living through that. There's really not. I know it's hard. I know it's not easy to get out of. But I mean, it's worth trying to get out of. It really is because you could live such a better life being out of that situation. Anyway, that's it for me. I really appreciate the suggestion for this video. I hadn't seen it before. It's my first time and it, it really resonates quite deeply to be honest. And yeah, anyway, so if you've made it this far in the video, do me a favor, hit that sub button, like the video and share it. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to come out of pocket. It only takes you just a couple of seconds of time. And the only thing you do is help the channel. You help me grow. You help me reach more people. And if y'all have watched a number of my videos, a lot of my videos, I deal with a lot or I speak on a lot of mental health things and give my interpretation of it on how I've lived my life with it and how I've been able to overcome some things. So you're only helping me reach more people. So why not? Anyway, y'all take care and we'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.